Number one, rubber is famous for elasticity. Its ability to stretch and bend and twist and return right back to its original shape. The other thing that's great about elasticity is that if you make a rubber ball, that's what gives rubber its awesome bounce. Secondly, durability. Generally, rubber is much more durable than plastic. So a lot of times there may be an application where an elastomer is needed. If durability is really important, rubber will frequently be selected. Third, uh, obviously rubber resists water and chemicals. There's a reason that wetsuits are made out of neoprene, which is a synthetic type of rubber. The, the next, we're talking about temperature isolation. Rubber has excellent properties to isolate temperature away from your product, as well as electrical insulation. So there's a lot of application for rubber in electrical components to isolate that electrical charge. The last common thing that you probably already know about rubber is very high coefficient of friction. And this is often used to make sure that things aren't sliding around or, or moving around. But there's a few things that you probably didn't know about rubber if you're not familiar. And number one is that extreme abrasion resistance that I'm talking about. So that's why we use rubber for things like dog toys, where we know this is going to get chewed on for a long time and we need that abrasion resistance to make sure that it doesn't break down while that's happening. The other thing is rubber has a very wide temperature operating range. So you can go anywhere from, you know, rubbers that can operate at very, very low temperatures and very high temperatures. And there's a number that can do both. And then the other thing that's pretty unique to rubber is contraction by heat property. There aren't a lot of materials that do that, but sometimes that can be useful for certain application. So then let's talk about types of rubber. There's really two types of rubber in this world. There's natural rubber, the OG, comes from the Hevia tree, and that is what was first used by people. But over time, the demand grew and synthetic rubbers were developed. So this part is a silicone, which is a type of synthetic rubber. So there's many forms of synthetic and natural rubbers, uh, but both are developed by our chemist using select ingredients based on the application needs to make sure that it's gonna perform in the specific application that we are using it for. So if you need help figuring out what the right rubber is for you or for your application, please don't hesitate. You can go to lakeerierubber.com and find many different ways to get in touch with us and we'd be happy to look at your application and help you specify the perfect compound to support your needs.